job. And you should praise them for doing a good oh. job. This okay. will increase their drive and make them more obedient. Okay, hold L1 and select the praise command to praise your dog. Praise. Who's a good dog? doggy? You can instruct <laughs> them to follow a trail from this track. Who's a good doggy? Dog is following the trail. They'll go to the next oh, track man. and wait for your next instructions. Give it a try. Who's a good doggy? <laughs> Hey, what's happening? Rise here on Nelio Gaming. In this video, we're going to be checking out Hunting Simulator 2 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. We're jumping right in. All right, we have new game options and credits. Let's start a new game. Select your character, male, female. Go with the male character. Rise and shine. It's a big day. Time for you to participate in your first hunt. I'll be guiding you from a distance and giving out some tips as you go. Are you ready to take on the elements? Okay then, let's get started, shall we? Would you mind stepping out of your cabin and taking in that fresh scent of nature? All right, exit the cabin, up the bum stick. What is going on here with the head bob. That can't be just because we're in a cabin. Is it the floor? Why would it? That is gnarly head bob. Now let's get down to business. There should be some tracks nearby. Walk around a little. You should be able to find some. Okay. Wow. We got to check real quick. Okay. Options. Uh, we have interface sound controls, controller bindings. Ooh, controller bindings. Head bottom. There it is, all the way at the bottom. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. All right, head bobbing is turned off. Uh, let's see. Everything else can stay. Unit for weight, pounds. Unit for length, yards. Okay, sorry, I don't. I don't do the whole metric. I should know that. I really should by now. I'm ignorant with that. I apologize. So let's see, sound controls, environment, we can turn that down a little bit. Sound effects, same. Subtitles on. Controls. Uh, let's see, let's leave that alone. Horizontal, I like to turn that up a little bit. Controller bindings. Yes! Bonus points to the developer. This is huge. This is huge. When you can remap your controls right in the game options, that is... I mean, in 2020, all games should include this now. The more options, the better. If you're familiar with my videos, with my my overall feeling on options, I just... The more options, the better. You never know what a player is dealing with. And, you know, just more options means players can be more comfortable playing your game. Oh, this is this is great. All right, so let's remap L3 for sprint and hold breath to let's go with down on the D-pad. No, let's go up on the D-pad. And then I'm using the back button attachment on the PlayStation 4 controller, so I'm going to remap it to the back button on my left hand. All right, that should be good. And then is circle being used no it's not so we'll go crouch, uh, crouch prone we'll remap that to circle and we'll leave everything else alone and you can you know map it to any way you want leave it as is doesn't matter this is all personal preference like i said the more options the better i'm super happy super happy all right that's all saved head bob oh look at that Hey, we got first person, third person, over the shoulder third. This is great. But the head bob is gone, which is the biggest part of it. And then we can run a little bit, which you wouldn't want to run when you're hunting. You want to be nice and very, very quiet because we're hunting wabbits. I can't do the voice. So, sorry, Elmer Fudd fans. 
your first track. Nice. Now, you're gonna have to analyze this track if you want to know what kind of animal we're hunting today. I can do that. Analyze. Oh, oh, oh. White-tailed deer. White -tailed Footprint. Deer. A classic. It's old. Okay, so we know it's a white tail. We don't have a license or a weapon for it yet. Well, what the heck? Mind marking this location on your map and then returning to the cabin? I'll get you the right license and weapon for when you get there. Why would you leave the cabin before you have a license? Press, okay, touchpad. Let's see, add marker, add waypoint. I guess add a marker? Yeah, oh, okay, it, it actually put a white-tailed deer on the map. Interesting. Return to cabin. All right. Nice little cabin. Okay, I think you're ready to go hunt that white tail now. Hey, oh, what wait. do we got? Before you head out, I got you a little surprise. Hey! Right. <laughs> hey, look at this little guy. Why don't you go ahead and give the dog a name? What is it? All right, let's give. The, I always, <laughs> I name like every animal in every game after my dog Rocky. So let's go with Rocco. Yes. That's an awesome Where is name. he? Oh Bye. my gosh! My old border collie. Okay, so let's get back to those tracks. <laughs> He's so Check cute. The map to find the marker you Look at him. He is so cute. Look at him back and forth, back and forth. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Oh, here comes my dog. Jeez. He's like, who are you talking to? <laughs> Where are you going, buddy? Let's go this way. Go to tracks over here. Um, Oh, he just follows me. Hey, there's my Jeep. Or whatever it is. Turn to tracks. Okay. Dog found the track. Okay, good. Good job. And you should praise them for doing a good job. This will increase their drive and make them more obedient. Oh boy. Uh, praise your dog. Hold L1 and select praise command to praise your dog. L1. Praise. Now that you have your dog, dog. Down, you can instruct them <laughs> to follow a trail from this That's track. a good dog. The dog is following the trail. They'll go to the next track and wait for your next instructions. Give it a try. <laughs> That's a good dog. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Uh, track. Stay. Go on. Go get him. Get him, okay. buddy. Let's keep following this trail for a bit. I'm sure Look. you'll run into something <laughs> eventually. Look at him. Down the trail. Ain't nothing but a hound dog. I bet you there is a trophy for, uh, I don't know, like, interacting with tracks. I bet you there is. Maybe it's like a hundred or a thousand, whatever. Uh, the first game was awesome, uh, which I'll link, I'll link below and in the comment section and in the description. I'll link my video for the first game. I absolutely had a blast with the first hunting simulator. So I'm assuming this just improved upon uh, that. I mean, it looks great. And I see that one of the biggest problems that some of these games have, or just games in general, is the you know the draw distance. You can't see too far away because there's popping, things like that. That does not seem to be the case here. Stamina increased. Seem you can see really far. All right, let's go find our Hunt friend. Can be a slow game. You need to have nerves of steel and an incredible amount of patience. If you keep following the tracks, you're bound to run into an animal eventually. Well, what did he find? Yeah, I bet you there is a PlayStation trophy attached.
Hey, I see something. Oh, it's a stand. It's like a tree stand type thing. Could be the same deer. Seems to be going in the same direction, but they're old tracks, so I'm not sure. We need to go to the tree stand, though, or the stand. Where's the good boy? Where's the goodest boy? There he is. <laughs> okay, now all you have to do is climb into it. Okay. There you go. Oh. Now that you're in a stand. It's time to play the waiting game. I was instant. You don't have to wait in the stand, but it gives you a nice vantage point. It makes you less noticeable. Okay. Okay. Let's wait a bit more. My instinct is telling me something good is about oh, to happen. Oh, your instinct has nothing to do with there, the training or the right tutorial? <laughs> don't shoot it just yet. You need to carefully plan your shot. Take a Ooh. Deep breath and aim it's a buck. For its vital organs. So, let's see. It is a buck. For it. Wait for In real it. life, you would go, Meh, and it would stop and look, and that's when you shoot it, as soon as it stops. Like right now, you would go, now, Meh. Take the shot. Good shot. Got him. You got that deer good. I held my breath now, with, uh, go find the blood trail. it would be L3 for... The normal control is you hold your breath, that steadies your aim, and then you fire. Don't forget to always memorize the location where you shot the animal. Oh. Now, nah, ain't that a good dog? Ain't that a good boy? Ain't that a good boy? <laughs> All right, so we hit him that way. Now you don't want to chase after it, like in real life. I'm saying you wouldn't chase after it. in the game. You can do whatever you want. Um, and I'm not just pulling this information out of my, uh, you know. I actually am uh, familiar. I grew up. I grew up hunting my uh, my grandfather, my father, my brothers, uh, mainly my brother Chris. And me, we used to go hunting uh, growing up. And... Come on, buddy. Come. Come on. Here he comes. All right. Fine. Find it. Find it. gonna be blood up here I know it oh corn dropped fruit the fruit that's corn corn of fruit no I don't think so it may have strayed off a bit but there should be a blood trail where you shot it yeah I'm looking for that hey, where where I shot look at that blood what now, where is it follow it or have the dog trail. Fine. Where's the blood? Where's the blood? I shot it somewhere around here, right? Found something. Oh, there it is. Blood bright. Alright, we found it. And it went that way, right? We got this. Um, let's see. Fine. Where did it go? Okay. Where did it go? Oh, it's this way. Here's the path. We found it. Shut 
such a good dog. Go on. That's annoying, but I'm going to keep doing it. I'm telling you, there's a PlayStation trophy attached. It's got to be up here somewhere. I don't see it yet. Oh, he found it. Nope, not yet. Got to be uh, over here somewhere. Oh, is that it? Through the trees? Shouldn't uh, be too far now. Here we go. Where is it? Man, we got a good trail. Usually it's like one little tiny dot here. Oh! Those were some birds. Hey, there we go. All you have to do now is bag it. Bring it on back to the cabin. Good job. Come here, good boy. Who's the goodest boy? Good job. Okay, now we got a bag and tag it. All right, white-tailed deer. It's a male. It's young. We're in a uh, region. Is okay. We're in Europe. We're in Ar Argihita County or country, whatever. I can't read. Uh, weapon: Bar Zenith Wood HC. Distance: 170. No, 107.222 yards. Let's bag it. Back. You can use your License map complete. All right, so we got to head back now. All right, let's go back. Come on, you you good boy. So normally we would, you don't want to run in the woods, especially with a gun in your hands. But uh, let's see, we need to head back toward. There's the tower. The camp. So add waypoint. Nope, nope. There we go. Which is it's gonna add it on the top of the screen there. And we're heading northwest. See if we see any other uh Oh come on, buddy. Come here. He just stayed there. He's not the goodest boy at this moment. I don't know why he stayed there. Come on, catch up. Come on. Look at him zigzagging. <laughs> Floppy ears. You can hear the water and just like nature and kind of peaceful. Hey, look at that giant butterfly. That's cool. That thing was huge. It was huge. Found something. What'd you find? Oh, those are the same tracks we found, buddy. Come on. Such a good dog. Drive increased. Okay, so his like. Oh, what is that? Wait, did you hear that? I thought it was a bear. There's another animal nearby. It sounds like it's scared a the crap out of me. But you don't have a huh. license for it means you won't be able to hunt it. it always pays to get multiple licenses for a region so you can hunt more than one animal type at a time anyways let's get back to that cabin you would never run after an animal in the woods especially a giant moose that would just attack you and like kill you believe it or not moose are extremely dangerous they're huge and they just trample. Come on, buddy. I'm kicking up all sorts of pheasants and all sorts of different birds. The sound quality is top notch. I mean, really. 
and the graphics, everything looks pretty darn real. All right, we're back at the cabin. Now that you're at the cabin, all you have to do is claim the animal and we're done. Okay. Fair enough. Come on. Come along. When you claim a bagged animal, you can either trade it in for cash or make a trophy out of it. The choice is yours. Oh, we want the cash, but we also want a trophy because it's our first one. Let's see here. Claim animals. And you can sell it or keep trophy. We're going to keep the trophy because it's just our first one. Oh, wait. 53 pounds. That is tiny. Why is that so tiny? Oh, wait. You know what? That's probably like... Okay, so like up here in the northeast where I'm from, United States, uh, the white-tailed deer are actually much larger than they are, say, down in like Texas. Down in Texas, they're actually kind of small. Um, they do have like mule deer, which are bigger. Um... But yeah, up here, they're bigger than, like, you would expect one, like, uh, around 100 pounds. 120, 140, 160 might be pushing it. Yeah, we're going to keep this Good one. Good job. You did great today. I think you're ready for your first solo hunt. Okay. I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself and be patient. Ready for our first solo back hunt. back to your lodge. You're ready. Our lodge? What do you mean? Oh, look at this. We got a mansion. We must be a rich hunter. Which is Welcome to the hunting lodge. Not what I can relate Here to. You can set up for your hunts and purchase any gear or companions you may need for them. Head over to the computer to access the store and claim your permanent license. Okay. I hear music. We got to shut that off. Can we? Um, computer. We gotta shut that music off. I guarantee I'm gonna get a copyright claim. Let's see. So it seems like I can't do anything until I buy the license. Why are they all crossed off? Oh, they're all free. Oh, okay, so... I believe I read somewhere that... I'm pretty sure your first license is free. Um, let's see. So, if our first license is free, I'm not going to get, like, a hare license, a little rabbit license for 65 when there's a moose license for, like, 440. Uh, Europe, Texas, Colorado. Let's, um... Elk. Follow red. We already have a white-tailed deer, right? Or... You know, what, let's go ahead and get the moose license, and we'll see what happens. Yeah, free. Credits 5,000, top right corner. Uh, weapon awarded, XPR composite. So I bought a license and I got a weapon? Is that common? Okay, so we have a weapon now. Let's see. Now can we turn off the music? Yes, okay. Uh, track one, track two, track three, we're going to turn it off. Because I am worried about, uh, just like right now with the way everything is, uh, I mean, record companies and just everything's out of control. So you really got to watch what music you have on your, on your videos. And, and I, I mean, some of the times the game, uh, publisher and developer have the rights to the music they put in their game, but sometimes you still get claimed and it's like, it's just a, oh, Hey, look, there's my trophy. What a... That was only a two-pointer? I swear it looked like it was a lot bigger. That is a weak... That is a really, really weak rack. I, I wouldn't have kept that if I knew it was just a two-pointer. I should have looked. Ugh. Okay, so yeah, like I was saying, copyright claim for music. I'm just going to keep it off. And, uh, it seems like there's all sorts of stuff. Companion select. Okay. Yeah, I don't need another companion. I got my dog Rocco. What do we got here? Wiki. Gameplay licenses, senses, tracks, calls, bagging, claiming. Okay. All right. So we got different areas of this 
Lodge, which is a huge giant mansion, which is not realistic for uh, anything I understand. We usually uh, drive out at the crack of dawn before it's, you know, it's still pitch black out and try to get to the woods right as the sun's coming up and getting our tree stand or whatever. I mean, staying at a lodge is just not something I, I understand at all. I mean, it would be great. I guess you could go on a hunting trip and stay in some kind of a lodge or a cabin. What is that, a note? Hunting Simulator 2. All right, well, nothing up here. It's a beautiful lodge, great, but like I said, I can't really relate to this. Um, Go out. Roosevelt Forest. Colorado, Colorado. Texas. Europe. Okay, this is where we're going to go. Licenses. We have a moose license. And why don't we have a white-tailed deer license? It doesn't seem to be one available. Maybe just because we already fought one here. Or fought one. Jesus. We already, uh, we already killed one here. We already hunted one there. So that's what it seems like. You have to, like, cross them off, you know could be uh saying that wrong but i think that's the case so yeah make sure to get a license that is more expensive that's uh that's a tip for you you don't want to spend uh the free you know your free license on something super cheap and then you know have to pay uh, a lot of money for currency for a more expensive license you could have got for free so uh, that's the licenses. Weapons. Okay, weapons we have. Wow. Okay, we have different rifles. Okay, if you look at the rifle and press triangle, toggle info, you get to see the different type of ammo that that particular rifle or weapon takes. And then, let's see, shotguns. We got 12-gauge shotguns. And then you can see it's either... Brake action, manual repeating, pump action. So you get a good amount of information. Uh, oh, wow. Sporting rifles. Jeez. These are cool looking. Semi-automatic. 308, 223. Oh, there we go. And then we got bows. This is more my speed. I mean, I've... I've gone hunting, you know, like I said, growing up. Um, one time I shot a deer. And I can definitely tell that story it's a long story so maybe if you want to hear that story then leave me a comment below let me know you're interested and uh i'll tell you about the the time i i did shoot a deer it was with a black powder uh a black powder gun and wow uh what an experience but yeah that's that's a long story so we'll leave uh that for another day do i want to use a bow um, no. I want to... Optics. We do want... A scope, right? If we're going to be going out for... A moose. 500. Wow, these are expensive. That's probably more my style right here. Something like this or this. Even this would be fine. Classic German. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Nice and simple. It's with the tape on it. I don't like the tape on it, though. Why is there tape on it? What the heck's up with that? Dot. It's 500. I got 5,000 currency. A scope to see farther into the distance, 4.2 times further than the naked eye. Jeez. Six times scope. We're going to go with.
don't want too much information on the scope, but I do want a good amount. We're gonna spend money on the scope. We might as we may as well go for something like this. Okay. All right. We got our companion. We got our scope. We have our weapon. I believe we have a weapon, right? Said we have a XP something. Where is it? Where's the one that we own? What the heck? Where's the one that we own? I don't see it. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. XPR composite. That's the one we own. Clip size. All right. 243, 270, 30 odd six. Now, what do we need for a moose? Licenses. Thirty odd six. Okay. Moose license. Wait. Owned. Yeah. Okay. So we're good. Three oh eight two seventy three odd. Two seventy. Okay, so we're good. Um, that's the one we're gonna use. Okay. So we should be good, right? We should be good to go on a moose hunt. What else we got? Shooting range. Let's check out the shooting range. So far, so good. We're at about half hour, give or take. You can change your weapons at the main cabin. When you're ready, step into the blue beacons to begin shooting. Okay, blue beacons. Load out. Okay, where's my loadout? Is this my loadout? No. Menu. Change weapon. Refill ammo. Return to launch. Change weapon. Select weapon. Okay. 270, yes. Okay. What about the scope? There we go. Okay. We're good. Start competition. Refill ammo. We should be good now. Oh, look at it. It's purdy. Okay, what do we got for targets? Super close targets. This kind of looks like a range I've been to. Only there's no upper deck. There's no archery upper deck. These are archery targets, aren't they? No, these are whatever targets. Pull! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're good. Let's go all the way down where it's lit up. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is what we want. This is what we want. It's going to be low. I hit it. Wow. Wow. There's not very much, uh, there's not very much drop on that. That's kind of nice. Oh, there's two targets. Can I hit them both? Let's see if I can hit them both. I don't think it goes through, but you never know. I hit one of them. I hit the back one. I didn't hit the front one. Hit them both. Okay. Okay. Resume options, return to lodge. Said something about a competition. Let's go check that out. I don't know what that is. Now, this, I think, would be good for coming in with a bow and, you know, testing out the, the different bow skills and your 
different sites and all that. Tuning in your sites. Easy, medium, hard. Easy. It's like Gotta start somewhere, right? Wow, good thing I had to reload because I would have missed that. time uh weapon used xpr composite score 990 new personal best score added to the leaderboard let's see okay doesn't seem like there's online leaderboards which is kind of uh that's too bad All right, let's see about going to hunt a moose. Oh, I should have got more ammo. Shoot. Eh, maybe I don't, I don't, I only need a couple shots. Looking for a moose. Tracks can be hard to find. If you move too fast, you may miss one. Okay, where are we? We are at a different cabin. Okay, we're at a different location. All right. Menu. Refill ammo. There we go. Fast travel. Change companion. Change loadout. Nope, we're good. Let's go get ourselves a moose. All right, which way are we going, buddy? Let's find. Go this way. Come on. Oh, he went downhill. Where'd he go? Oh, he went uphill. He went both down and up. Look at him zigzagging back and forth like a, a beagle really would, looking for tracks. Like I said earlier, you would never run in the woods, especially with a gun in your hands, but this being a game. So, early in the day, they obviously come down to the water to drink. All animals, really. find something he's looking keep heading this way buddy we'll find something we might hear something or growl or something again and it'll scare me That was uh that is how realistic this game is. I just had a piece of uh what do you call it? Um pollen from those little white uh I don't, dandelion, I don't know what they're called, but yeah, a piece of pollen flew up into my face. Looking for tracks. Looking for tracks.
Oh, I see a trail. No, that's not a trail. That's what I'm looking for, is a trail. I should have bought a call. I should have bought a moose call. We'll find something. Don't worry, buddy. Just taking a little walk. There's gotta be a trail up here that leads down to the water. It has to be. I thought that might be one, but it's not. We'll find something, bud. Don't you worry. I hear the <laughs> the SpongeBob uh, thing in the back of my head. Three hours later. The next day. which way the wind is blowing to be honest can we tell like in real life I would throw up I would throw up a piece of grass right now to see what way the wind is blowing because you want to be downwind you don't want the wind to be blowing toward where the animals could possibly be I kind of have a feeling that we are downwind, so we're, I think we're okay. By the, like, the little particles that are, see that little piece of grass that just flew by? I think we're downwind, which is where we want to be. That was perfect timing for that piece of grass to go by. <laughs> bit more and then we're going to go up and we'll go uphill there's uh these hills here but yeah we'll go we'll go up a little bit more and we'll take a right go up to the ridge and then kind of head back towards the cabin Thicket. This is what you call a thicket. Anything. We haven't seen any rabbits. Oh, look what I found. A bench. Did I get a PlayStation trophy? This should be like a collectible. I can't even sit down. What the heck? Blind tent. Huh. Alright, let's go up. Seems to be a trail or, uh, yeah, like an old logging trail. That's what you would call this the old logging trail. Or it could be like for ATVs, four wheelers. Maybe we don't want to walk on the trail, but near it.
can't believe we haven't, haven't found a single track yet. Can't jump. Game won't let me jump. What the heck? Can't jump, can't climb. That's something they should add is a jump. Or like a, not a jump, but a, um, to let you like scramble up a hill or, you know. Let's see why not. Well, we gotta find a track up here somewhere. There's gotta be a, a, a trail they're using. There's gotta be rubs, no rubs, no poop. to be I mean we haven't found anything this is very discouraging I mean even in real life by now you'd see a squirrel a rabbit you'd see something by now I mean we didn't even hear anything yet I'm hearing birds chirping but that's it Like I said, I think I'm pretty sure I'm downwind. I'm not finding anything. Definitely should have bought a, a call. We got something. A bear. I think it's a bear. Yeah, I think it's a bear. can't shoot the bear but we can scare it away if it comes near us we can like shoot above it just to scare it away I'm gonna get a good look at it hundred yards Somewhere in front of us. There it is. Is that a pig? Is that a pig that the bear is following? Alright, so that was a bear. That wasn't a pig. I think that was the bear. It just looked off-colored because of the sun. Oh, it went uphill. Let's go right. Let's go this way. No scat. Nothing from even deer. Because bear. Bears will go, you know, they feast on deer and everything. Berries. And so, for there not to be any trail around here, I am just blown away. Spent about a half hour walking so far. And, uh, nothing yet. I wonder... That something they could have added to would have been a stamina gauge. Like, because you can only walk for so long um, before you get tired. And there's obviously... I saw... That there's a, a day, you know, morning, afternoon, evening cycle. So, there's that, but they should have gave uh, a stamina bar would have been really cool. You know, you got it. You have to stop and rest at a certain point.
Like, he, no, no tree rubs, nothing. It's just mind blowing to me. I just heard something. Another bear? You gotta be kidding me. This place has got tons of bears. And that's a different one because of the direction. We'll get a good look at this one because we're uphill from it. Maybe. No license. Seek a deer. Male. That bear is going towards it. This is the action area. Don't worry, I'm not going to shoot it. I'm just. Clearly, in a high active area, though. What's that seek a deer? That's a Sika, whatever that is. Never heard of it, to be honest. We are on a European hunt, so some of these animals I've never heard of. Yes, we know you're here. Thank you. Hoping that there is a moose up here, though, before we head back downhill toward camp. Oh, dog found something. He found a trail. Brown bear. That's that bear. Darn it. Such a good dog. No, 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 come here. Come along. So you tell him to search and he goes and searches that he stays on that trail of the bear. So you got to pull him off and send him in a, you know, different direction. Different task. It's crazy though that we didn't have any action and then all of a sudden we had a bear and then a Sika deer. Something back there. Sika deer. And the bear probably about to go at it. Bear will probably win. This is a true simulator because a lot of days you go out hunting, you don't see anything. You'll at least, 
least usually see like scat and trails, but I mean, we're not seeing anything. See, now we're upwind, I think. If we're if there's anything in front of us, I think we're upwind, which would be bad. I think. <laughs> He's getting eaten by the bear. I just saw something flash on the ground right here. Seek a deer is walking parallel with us. Found something. What'd you find? Gray wolf. Urine. Dull. Great. We got wolves in the area. That's just lovely. Who's a good doggy? Come on. Come on. Such a good dog. One. Come along. But yeah, we went on a big long walk. We didn't see a single moose, not a single moose track. Nothing to do with a moose. <laughs> Nothing. But we saw a couple couple different animals, so it's definitely a simulator. It's definitely realistic. I mean, I guess that's what you want. If it's a sim, you want it to be realistic. The whole point, right? Where is our cabin? I mean, I just marked it twice. I must have marked the back of it. What you got, buddy? <laughs> Watch, he'll find a moose track right at the last minute. That would be something. Right behind our cabin. Seek a deer. It's the same deer. Come on. Good job, bud. Good job. But come on, let's go. Well, this is that road. This is that same fire road that we met up with way down. Come. There it is. So yeah, like I was saying, moral of the story, get multiple licenses. Don't waste your money early on in the game. Just get the stuff you need. You get a gun, you get one rifle from the start. You get one free license. So you can deer, drop fruit, okay.
beside me. That's a good companion. Nothing. Okay. Well. He found something. What did you find? Where is he? Right next to our... What do you mean you found something? What'd you find? Oh. <laughs> the secret deer came right next to our cabin. That's funny. Such a good dog. All right, well, I think this is a good place for us to uh, to leave off for now. We learned a little bit about the game. We learned what not to waste your money on early in the game. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed. If you want to see something specific, I really hope you leave a comment below and let me know. But yeah, we'll leave it off there. So yeah, that's where I'm going to end my first gameplay with Hunting Simulator 2 here on the PlayStation 4 Pro. I appreciate you watching on Nelio Gaming. If you haven't already done so, please click that like button. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Share with your friends. Follow me on Twitter at RiseUp44 and at Nelio Gaming. And please consider subscribing to me here on Nelio Gaming. So like I mentioned earlier, I was provided with a game key thanks to David and his team over at Home Run PR on behalf of the developer and publisher. So shout out to everyone involved. Uh, this is a great opportunity and I'm, I'm really um, excited to be playing. Uh, like I mentioned, I, I enjoyed the first game, and it seems like they really they took what was uh, good about the first game and they built upon it. And I am just so so happy with the amount of options. Uh, I mean, options in games is so important nowadays with all the limitations that some people might have or just preferences. You know, just giving us options to play the way we want is the way to go. And when developers uh, recognize that and they do give us these options i just think it's huge bonus points uh so a shout out to the developers for thinking of uh thinking of those things and i'm just i'm really happy you can remap the controller and just it's great it's it's thumbs up on on the options so um overall sound sounds great uh the movement after i was able to turn off the the hud the, i mean not the hud the the head bobbing uh you know the, the movement feels just fine. Uh, scanning and, and, you know, using the companion, using the dog to help find uh, tracks. And I think I think it all works great. It's really simplified and uh, it just seems to work really well. The amount of options in the lodge and different things you can do, um, including the, the shooting range is, is definitely a bonus. And, uh, I mean, listen to those birds. That just sounds so realistic. So yeah, I'm really excited to be playing and, uh, uh, you know, like I, I had said a couple times, if you want to see something specific, definitely let me know in the comment section. If you enjoyed, uh, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing and we'll leave it there. I appreciate you and I'll see you guys in the next video.